Hey guys. Uh, that was kind of weird. I don't know how to really enter this, but uh, I'm gonna start uploading um, videos of me working out. Um, so the reason I want to start doing this, I thought it was, um, I've been getting more into fitness lately. I haven't really been posting here on YouTube, but on TikTok I've been showing, I've been posting like my transformation because I used to be like 225 pounds. I used to look like, like this. And now currently I kind of look like this. And um, I ended up posting what I would look like in 60 days of weightlifting after I had lost all that weight. So I did like day one all the way through like day 60. I still even post day 60 on uh, TikTok, but it should be posted by now by the time I upload this YouTube video. But anyways, I thought it was um, my transformation from day one of weightlifting all the way to day 60. It's a pretty big difference in my opinion, but I thought it'd be interesting to show what it's like having someone who's natural completely to show realistically what it would look like if uh, any random person wanted to start working out and like how different their body would be in just a couple of months. Cause some people get, you know, deterred thinking, oh my God, I gotta wait two years to look like that guy. You know what I mean? Cause that's how when people start usually posting, they start posting after they get the physique that they want after like, um, a couple years of already working out and that's when they start posting their stuff. I kind of want to post my stuff like at the beginning. And I just want to see like, not only see how fast it is to grow, but you know, see realistically see how a natural bodybuilder would grow over time and how quick that was. But from day one, you know what I mean? Versus not me waiting a couple years to start showing you guys my physique and stuff. I thought it'd be really cool to do something like that. And um, maybe it would help other people see what realistically it would look like it, if you uh, were to actually seriously bodybuild for like six months or something like that. Because today is day one of the bulk. I'm gonna start bulking. I haven't bulked at all. I just, I was overweight, lost a lot of weight got down to like all the way down to like 150 and reverse dieted my way back up slowly today i weighed 160 because um yesterday was my first day eating in a big surplus so i gained a little bit but no big deal i just gotta get back into doing my cardio but basically what i'm saying is i want to know how being in a bulk is going to affect me because one of the biggest things i've seen was people saying they regret is not going into a bulk right away they just may gain and I want to see how fast I can grow, and I thought it'd be really cool. Anyways, I'm going to eat my breakfast before I start lifting and going to the gym. So my breakfast is just uh, some cinnamon toast crunch right now, some cereal, fruit pebbles cereal bar, and a banana. And then I'm going to down my pre-workout drink. I, I don't take regular pre-workout. I just take some pink Himalayan salt and some half a teaspoon, pink Himalayan salt and half a teaspoon of potassium. That's about it. But anyway, I thought it'd be pretty interesting to show like a series like this, you know? And I thought it would be something I'd have fun with. I know I'm mostly, I know I upload gaming stuff all the time, but you know, I thought this was something that I could probably be a little bit more consistent in. I still want to live stream video games and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to get like a thousand followers on TikTok first, so I can up, so I can um, live stream on there. Because what I want to do is do my autopilot cardio while I play some video games. And what I mean by autopilot cardio, autopilot cardio, is I just sit on my bike and I just start biking and playing video games at the same time. It's super light cardio. Nothing like super intense, just super light cardio for a long amount of time while I'm playing some video games. I usually play zombies. And I thought it'd be fun to live stream that. I think it'd be interesting to people. So, so I want a thousand followers on TikTok so I can live stream there. So if any of you guys have TikTok, you know, throw me a follow. No, I was looking for my phone. I forgot I'm recording with my phone. I was gonna put it in my calorie tracker what I was eating right now. So I already kind of know, so I'm not gonna forget. 
Anyways, I always save my cereal bar for last because it's my little tasty treat. You know, get my carbs in. And I'm not a bulk app anymore anyway, so. Whenever I decide to cut again, probably be like six or seven months from now, that's how long I plan on bulking for. It'll probably just be two bananas instead of one of these, but actually no, probably not. It's the same amount of calories and carbs, so probably just, yeah, probably wouldn't have the cereal and probably just have the banana and a cereal bar or just the banana, depending on how hard I'm cutting. Anyways, I plan on gaining like 35-ish pounds by the end of this bowl. I just want to see how fucking jacked I can get, you know what I mean? <laughs> It'd be dope as hell. Anyways, after I finish this, I gotta finish drinking my salt. And then by the time I finish this salt, the carbs will probably kick in and I'll be ready to do my first workout. Today's chest and biceps. So. Favorite day of the week. By far. I feel like it's a common thing among people that I've always heard. Everybody just loves chest hair. And power too, because I like it too. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Honestly, this ain't that bad. But I haven't drank it in a while because I've been sick past week, so I haven't really been like working out as much as I want to, but that's going to change real soon. Well, for right now, I feel a lot better. All right. Pre-workout meal and drink and consumed. All right, so I guess it's time to drive out to the gym. All right, let's go do it. All right. There it is. Haha. Uh -huh. Got him. You thought I was about to drive to the gym? Haha. Uh -huh. Got the gym right here. Anyways, I'll uh, I'll see you when I do a first set. <laughs> first set of the day. Served on the yeah, this way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the first set I'm doing is um incline bench. The way I start my chest days now is I do six sets of incline bench, then I do three sets of slight decline bench, and then I finish off my chest workout with uh, my dumbbells doing dumbbell chest flies, and then I move on to biceps. But anyways, the reason why I do six sets of this instead of like doing three sets of it and a different workout of another three sets is because <clears throat> Uh, I've been listening a lot to Sam Sullivan. It's like if you find like you like a movement a lot, you know, just spam that shit. And then that's when I was like, it makes a lot of sense. Cause I was doing four different workouts, three sets each, when I realized I could just be doing six sets of incline bench straight up instead of just switching workouts. So that's what I've been doing. I've been liking it. It's been growing up for chest a lot more. I like it. Anyways, let's see that shit. <sighs> Man, I feel dumb as hell. That red headset I was using, I thought because it has a microphone built into the headset that I'd be able to record audio with the headset, right? And then I realized I sound a little bit further away and like louder when I got closer to my phone when I look back at the recordings. 
And then I looked up, I can't record with a Bluetooth headset on the camera app on iPhone. What kind of bullshit is that? The fuck? So I guess I'm just gonna have to talk how I talk and try to speak a little bit louder while the phone's like that far away from me. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, what the hell? Whatever. I guess I'm just gonna work with what I got here. So I guess you're not gonna see headphones on me. I usually listen to music, but can't really listen to music while I record anyways. So, I guess that's pretty much it. We're just gonna hit more incline bench and not complain. <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's hit this shit. I don't know if I can do one more, but I'm trying. Let's go, let's fucking do it. Let's pump some iron. <sighs> Set three. Wow! bench I try to generally hit like eight to ten reps so it's like after I hit eight and feel like I couldn't hit anymore I just try to go for nine and just you know you you guys fucking soft like I just fucking struggle <laughs> three more sets harder to hit partials on a fucking bench though like i can never hit partials on this shit because you know you feel the rap comes all the way down you know, and i've had it happen a couple times but luckily i always put these safety bars and shit up in case it happens so i can get out and not die you know <laughs> safety first <clears throat> all right time for some slight decline and, uh, you know, if you're a beginner like me, you might be asking, why the fuck are you in a slight decline? <clears throat> and I just heard online and TikToks and stuff like that where they were saying it helps work the bottom half of your chest. And I was mostly doing this uh, a lot. I wasn't, I was doing incline, but not as much incline. I was mostly doing flat stuff and this decline. And my lower chest felt like it was growing, but it felt like it was getting some droopy titties. 
So that's kind of why I up my inclines. So not that you should be taking advice from a beginner like me, but yeah, if uh, make sure you're hitting more incline than you are decline. And if you are hitting decline to hit your lower to mid chest, just make sure incline is implemented more because you'll start getting droopy titty syndrome. <laughs> And after I started doing more incline, my, my chest started leveling out a little bit better. Like, don't get me wrong, it was squaring out regardless, but it felt like my my boobies on the bottom half were growing out faster than my upper. So just definitely at more incline than decline is what I'd say. Not that you should be taking advice from someone who's only been lifting for two months, but I'm just saying, if you don't want droopy titties, hit some fucking incline. Ah, oh, anyway, it's gonna stop two times. Fuck it. I gotta drop the weight a little bit. I feel like I'm too weak and from the incline earlier to be doing what I do on decline usually. <sighs> but you know shit happens. <laughs> gotta check that ego out the door, right? Just drop the fucking weight. Alright, set number two. Slight decline and drop the weight a little bit. Should be a little bit easier now. Let's see it. I have to take a mean poop. I guess you guys see me film my fucking her for the first time doing this. I didn't think it was gonna happen on the first one, but you know, the first vid, but it happened. Well, that's why I got these safety bars here, in case I can't hook it. And it, uh, you know, just saves my life, you know? Now I gotta slither out of here like a sneaky snut. Oh, bro, I must look so fucking weird. <laughs> This happened to me last week too. I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> anyway, safety first, guys. So I said, check. I left one more rep, and I didn't check my ego at the door for that one. <laughs> so, there you go. You get to see my embarrassing struggle to slither out of there. All right, now last chest exercise I'm doing for the day is um, dumbbell flags. Because, you know, obviously I don't have any machines, really. I have black pull on shit like that, but I don't have anything for chest flies besides my dumbbells. And uh, today's the first day I'm trying 25 pounds instead of 20. I Last time I tried 25 pounds was like a month ago, and I couldn't really do it. So, let's see if I embarrass myself this time. <laughs> I'm find out.
happening. Well, that was more successful than I thought it was going to be. So, I uh, guess we're doing 25 from now on. I guess I got a little bit stronger since then. Cool. All right. Um, sorry about the first clip, not being able to see my face or the top of my head at all. I uh, didn't realize it was going to look like that until, uh, you know, after I recorded it. I thought I put enough room, but I guess I had to use the wide angle anyways. But anyways, yeah, we're going to hit the two more sets of the dumbbell flies, and then we're going to move on to our biceps. Let's hit it. That's the cool thing about dumbbells, I don't feel like I'm gonna be crushed under weight when I try to go for an extra rep. I'm like the uh, bench, like right there. I'm gonna be a sneaky snake. <clears throat> Time for some old fashioned dumbbell bicep curls. And then, uh, I don't know how it's gonna look on camera, but right after I fail on um, my last bicep rep, what I saw from, I forgot the guy's name on YouTube. He's got over a million subs, I think. Ryan Hummiston, I think his name is. I don't remember. But, um, at the end of his bicep curl, he was showing, like, going like this. It's kind of, it's just, I call it a baby row, but it just looks like, he does it with two, so it looks like he's trying to hump something. <laughs> but anyways, um, I do one arm at a time. Usually I did two, but, like, um, my right arm was growing faster than my left arm, and uh, some advice that I saw when I started watching Sam Saul, that's actually how I got into watching him. I saw a clip on TikTok of him, him talking about um, whenever one's falling behind the other, just do one at a time and start with the weaker arm. And whatever you end up failing with and how you perform on your weak arm, try to imitate the same ones on your stronger arm so that your weaker arm can catch up to it. Right now, my left is not as strong as my right, so. That's pretty much why I've been doing it. It's been working, it feels like. So I miss. How better? <laughs> That's usually just what fucking happens, right? Time for my right arm.
couldn't even do it too much bigger for us today. Jesus Christ. But regardless, you know. I feel it. That's pretty much it. Do two more sets of that. And then I'll move on to my uh, cable hammer curls. So, this is the last thing I do for the day. This is the, my cable hammer curls that I do. Ever since I started doing these, really enjoyed them a lot. Um, so basically, what it is is just me grabbing the cable and I pull it up toward my chest. Some people do their straight, the hammer curls like this. I like doing mine like this. So it's like, um, so this one I'm gonna do a drop set. I just go like this until I hit failure and then I drop the weight off and then I try to do the same arm again and go until failure. Now I'm sorry on my left again because like I said earlier, my left is weaker than my right. So I'm trying to imitate what I do with my left with my right so that my right doesn't keep going past my left. Anyways, let's just fucking hit this shit real quick. And uh, after I show you guys once, I'm not going to show you the right arm just because like all you're going to see is my ass. So we'll just move straight up to the uh, pump check. So my keeper here my curls pretty much look like maybe I'll record one time, maybe I won't, but after two more sets of doing that on both arms, we'll, we'll do a pump check. Alright, so for the pump check, so what I usually do whenever I'm recording for TikTok, I gotta move this cat condo out the way. This is the only wall in the house that has a decent background that's like clear. The easiest way for me to do one of these and I try to position myself best I can usually I'm not sure it's already off by the time I'm doing this but you know time to check the pump right I know I'm unimpressive now but we're gonna see in six months just start the bulk so anyways uh chest and bias so So what I look like, I got no idea what I'm looking like in the camera right now, because uh, that's how I always do it pretty much. I just hope I'm posing okay. <laughs> yeah, this is what I look like right now, after I pump. Day one of the bulk. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Thanks for watching.